All right, Jazz. Quick fix time. So for the people who are unfamiliar, tell them what Quick Fix is all about. But before you do that, tell them who it's brought to them by. Sure. Quick Fix is brought to you by Pure 24, pure natural supplements designed to enhance the body and mind. They make supplements affordable, effective, and easy to use. You can visit their website, pure24store.com. Their products ship worldwide, and you can use our code, The Fix, for 15% off all items. That's the code, The Fix, for 15% off all items. The only gummies you need for a better life. Quick Fix is also brought to you by Prism Marketing Consultants, the public relations and media platform form catering to the caribbean diaspora now quick fix is a run of the news that we've mix, missed in the week so we're going to get started right now so popcorn denies visiting murder accused following reports published in the local tabloids that a popular entertainer and a former beauty queen recently visited murder accused constable noel maitland while in lockoff is creating quite an uproar on social media the report suggests that maitland who stands the accused of the murder of his girlfriend and social media personality donnelly donaldson received an unauthorized visit while being locked up at the Grand Spain police station in St. Andrew. The reports further allege that the visit was not documented as required in the station log, resulting in one police officer being reassigned. Since the revelation, individuals within certain quarters of the entertainment community and broader society speculate that Popcorn and Tony and Singh are the alleged perpetrators. However, to set the record straight and clear his name, Popcorn has shot back at his accusers with unpalatable remarks posted by his official twitter account the tweet read don't try mix me <laughs> i just had to be here to read this part right yeah, okay. don't try mix me for cover up on a dirty corrupted work the search continues for the body of 24 year old donaldson who was reported missing on july 13. so guys what do we make of this where did these um where did these reports stem from <clears throat> At, at first, I heard it was just an entertainer. When since the the additional the people the additional report of the beauty queen start yeah I, 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 I don't know but um yeah <coughs> pop kind of our right to 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 blast these reports if it's that it's not him. Suppose it was um Lisa Hanna and 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 an ex artist. I don't know. Could be anybody. Is it that that the known artists and beauty queen? tandem right now is them it is all over and over. yeah um i just hope at the end of the day because just this is just fluff surrounding the mainstream i just hope at the end of the day that a body is found mm. all over. i just hope that in in, in all sincerity say that the family gets some closure here it seems like the investigation is, is advancing well mm-hmm. and that's all i really care about right now truly <coughs> yeah um i i actually heard it <laughs> people did that <coughs> People that was saying I didn't hear popcorn, but I heard it. People said Joshy. So mm. Josh, well, mm, yeah, know, I puppy, saw that too. Puppy saying this now, I'm like, I don't want to. I don't want him. I never hear nobody uh, including uh, I, in the I, mix, I never, you know. Never. But maybe they were. He saw it um, come across his timeline. But I agree with you that you know, hopefully that the, un- the investigation is ongoing and a lot of police do what they need to do. And, and as you say, I hope a body is found for closure for the family. Yeah definitely <coughs> moving on bounty killer instagram deactivated again the official instagram account of bounty killer has been deactivated again after lashing out at the police and government over what he classifies as the hypocritical treatment of the poor the incident uh, confrontation <laughs> with the police at last weekend st thomas jerk festival where he verbally scolded the lawmen for bringing the event to an abrupt end at approximately 12 30 a.m resulting in scores scores sorry of party goers getting upset because he was not allowed to perform you see how the crime rate is <laughs> not doing it now i'm not doing it okay. you see how the crime rate wicked at jamaica on for make work together stop going like on a want to be with enemy when you see the people are trying something support it that me telling you the last time on a try for lock me up for bad word on for go i would know if <laughs> he shouted before exiting the stage. Despite not being allowed to perform, the poor people governor lauded the promoters for their professionalism and commended the people of St. Thomas for their resilience amid the continued struggles. 
posting a clip of the incident on his alternate IG account at one owner general bounty stated revolution is our evolution rebellion time now uprising f slave masters in a show of support saint thomas native and dancer superstar popcorn reposted the clip on his instagram reel with the caption that is it at ground godzilla bounty killer's instagram account was previously deactivated in may after china the police commissioner general anthony anderson whom he dubbed a big idiot lunatic for removing him from the current crime stop ad campaign mm-hmm. man um <clears throat> well you know it's unfortunate that he his instagram page is deactivated but i don't think a that's corruption really, i don't think that's anything to do with us locally i think that's just instagram guides and byline maybe somebody mm-hmm. reported it and instagram um dubbed the- it inappropriate and they removed it um yeah like you know he's always been somebody advocating for poor people and um i see people are trying to make the comparison between this saint thomas show and reggae some fest or reggae some fest oh. was able to go on straight into the morning and this one but you know is a poor black man who well not poor but a black man event and mm. you know they cut it off i don't know what the reason was but um you know mm-hmm. just hope that could be many reasons yeah it could be many reasons we don't know but you know you think our police i don't know what to say you think it's just police... it's just funny it's everything the his bounty's <laughs> comments were funny to me mm-hmm. i mean i'll i'll be unfair but you know yeah you you you, you don't think that the police and the jsf is in league with instagram maybe yeah definitely <laughs> no i mean no, and it's yeah, I know you're trying to be facetious, but they <laughs> but no, and it's not just it's not yeah, JCF. It's like mm. every Insta um organization or them think you can catch you when you up on the phone and uh do this and I do that. Like mm. they, they know. <laughs> um it, it they was know? sad to see one of our legends in that type of situation at all. It was very sad to see. You, when you think of a bounty killer, I, I like to think of him in, in the same, or I like to see him in the same light as a Jay-Z. And it's like, my priest say, Yo, would we ever see Jay-Z in a situation like that where my fair run off of the stage and all them type of thing and police, you know, them type of altercation there with police and all them things like, you never want to see legends them in a them type of situation. Yeah, so, um, I, I don't know who is at fault here, whether it is the police themselves or promoters. I, I don't. I, mm. I just know, say, oh, it just so nice to see mm-hmm. one of our legends in a them type of situation. Mm-hmm. That's all we can say. Shout out to the promoter, though, who them did a doubt to have kill up on the show. Because like, <laughs> they must say, oh, kill on the point. We want kill her, we want kill her. And was actually there. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to the promoter. For sure, for sure. And that's it for a quick fix.